What are some weird, paranormal experience you've had during a night shift? I was working the overnight shift at a hospital when I heard someone crying softly down the hallway. It was around 3 a.m., and I was the only one in that wing. I walked over, expecting to find a lost patient, but the hallway was empty. The crying continued, getting louder, and then just stopped suddenly. I turned around to head back to my station, and that's when I felt a cold hand graze my arm. I didn't sleep well for weeks after that. I used to work as a security guard in an office building. One night I was doing my rounds and saw a shadow dart across the hall from the corner of my eye. I checked the cameras, but there was nothing there. Later, I heard footsteps above me, but the floor above was empty. When I went up to investigate, I felt this heavy, cold feeling like I wasn't alone. I never went to that floor alone again. I work as a janitor, and one night I was mopping the floor of an empty school building. Out of nowhere, I heard a locker slam shut. When I looked down the hall, nothing was there. I checked the lockers, and they were all shut tightly. Just as I was turning to leave, I heard whispering coming from one of the classrooms. That was my last shift at that job. I was working in an assisted living home on the night shift. Around 2 a.m., I heard one of the call bells ringing in an empty room. The resident who used to live there had passed away a week before. I checked the room, but no one was there, and the call bell wasn't even plugged in. I left the room as quickly as I could, and I still get chills thinking about it. One night, while working at a 24-hour diner, I saw a woman in a vintage dress sitting at a booth. I looked down to grab a menu, and when I looked back up, she was gone. My coworker saw her too, but we never found out who or what she was. The booth has always felt colder since that night. As a night nurse, I've seen my fair share of strange things. One night, I walked past an empty room and saw a shadowy figure standing by the bed. I did a double take, but the figure was gone. I later learned a patient had passed away in that room earlier in the week. I avoid that room as much as possible now. I used to work the night shift at a hotel. One night, the phone rang at the front desk, but when I answered, there was only static. This happened a few times, so I checked the call log, and all the calls were coming from room 204, which was empty. I went up to check, and the phone was off the hook, but no one was there. That room always creeped me out. I worked the graveyard shift at a nursing home, and one night, I heard someone singing an old lullaby in the hallway. I checked all the rooms, but everyone was asleep. The singing continued for a few minutes and then just stopped. I asked my coworkers about it, and they said they'd heard it before too. It happened every few months, always in the middle of the night. I worked overnight in a hotel once, and we kept getting complaints from guests about a child laughing in the hallway. The weird thing was we had no families or kids checked in that night. I checked the cameras and saw nothing. When I went to investigate, I swear I heard the laughter too, but the hallway was empty. Spookiest night shift I ever worked. One night, I was the only one in a small, old factory doing inventory. Around 2 a.m., I started hearing footsteps behind me, like someone was pacing. I looked around, but I was completely alone. The footsteps continued, so I left early. When I told my manager, she said other employees had heard footsteps on the night shift too, even though the place was always empty. I work as a night security guard at a museum. One night, I was checking the Egyptian exhibit when I heard whispering. It sounded like it was coming from behind the display cases. I felt a sudden cold chill, and my flashlight flickered. I left that section and tried to laugh it off, but it still bothers me whenever I have to walk through there. While working the night shift in an ER, I noticed one of the chairs in the waiting area moving by itself. At first, I thought it was just a draft, but then it slid halfway across the room. When I checked the cameras, you could see it moving, but no one was anywhere near it. I still get freaked out watching that video. I used to work at a gas station on the night shift. One night, I saw a man in a hat standing outside, just staring at the store. I went to the door to tell him we were closing, but he was gone. I looked at the cameras and there was no one there, but I saw a shadow pass by the windows a few times. I never saw him again, but it was unsettling. I work in a hospital and one night, while walking down an empty hallway, I saw a woman in a white dress at the end of the hall. She looked right at me and then disappeared around the corner. I ran to see where she went, but there was no one there. A coworker later told me that multiple people had seen her over the years. I was doing rounds at an old hotel, and while walking through the ballroom, I heard faint music playing. It sounded like jazz, but there was no one else in the building, and there was no music system in the ballroom. I told my manager, and she just nodded 
saying the ballroom was known to play music on its own at night. One night while working as a nurse, I saw a shadow cross the hallway outside a patient's room. I went to check, but no one was there, and all the patients were asleep. I mentioned it to another nurse, and she said she'd seen shadows moving in that hallway before too. Now I avoid it as much as I can. I used to work in a historic hotel known for being haunted. One night, I heard knocking on the door to the old ballroom, which had been closed for years. When I opened it, no one was there. I checked the cameras later, and there was a faint outline of a person standing by the door. It was the creepiest thing I've ever seen. I was working the night shift alone in a large warehouse. Around 3 a.m., I heard someone whisper my name. It sounded like it was coming from the far end of the warehouse. I went to check but found nothing. Later, when I told my coworkers, they laughed, saying that they'd all heard it before. I felt like I wasn't alone every time I worked that shift. Working in a 24-hour diner, I went to clear an empty booth when I felt a chill. Suddenly, all the silverware on the table shifted as if someone had brushed past it. I quickly backed away, and when I looked around, no one was there. It was like an invisible presence was sitting right there, and I never felt comfortable working late nights after that. As a security guard for an old building, I was doing my rounds and saw a figure at the end of the hall. It looked like a man, but when I shined my flashlight, he vanished. I checked the security footage, and the camera showed a shadowy figure just standing there for a few seconds before disappearing. That night gave me chills. I work as an overnight nurse, and one night I heard a knock on the door of a patient's room. I thought it was another nurse, but when I opened the door, no one was there. The patient told me someone had been standing outside the door, staring at her, but we were alone in the wing. It was unnerving. It was unnerving. I was cleaning up in an empty hotel when I saw a woman in a long dress walk down the hallway. I called out to her, thinking she was a guest, but she vanished into thin air. Later, I found out the hotel had a history of ghost sightings, especially of a woman in a dress. I avoided that hallway after dark from then on. I used to work as a janitor in a morgue. One night, I was mopping the floor when I heard someone breathing heavily behind me. I turned around, but no one was there. The breathing stopped, but every time I went back to mopping, it started again. I left early and quit soon after. I just couldn't handle it. At a nursing home where I worked, there was a room everyone avoided. People would often hear voices coming from inside, even though it was always empty. One night, while doing rounds, I passed by and heard someone calling my name from inside. I looked, but there was no one there. That room still gives me nightmares. I was on a night shift at a gas station when I saw someone standing outside just staring in. I went to ask if they needed anything, but they vanished right in front of me. I checked the security cameras, and there was no one there. It was terrifying, and I still don't have an explanation for it. Working in an old hospital, I was the only one in a wing that was under construction. Around midnight, I heard footsteps coming from the other side of the hall, but no one was there. It sounded like someone was pacing back and forth. Later, a nurse told me the wing was rumored to be haunted by a former patient. I made sure never to work alone there again. One night, I was stocking shelves at a 24-hour grocery store. Suddenly, one of the lights flickered, and I saw a shadowy figure standing at the end of the aisle. I went to check, but the aisle was empty. I asked my coworkers about it, and they said people have seen strange shadows there before. Here are 30 more eerie, Reddit-style comments from people sharing their paranormal experiences while working the night shift. I used to work as a nurse in an old psych hospital. One night, while charting, I heard someone whisper my name from behind me. I turned around, but no one was there. I chalked it up to fatigue, but later that night, I heard it again, this time louder. I learned later that others had heard the same voice calling their names, especially during night shifts. During a graveyard shift at a convenience store, I saw a woman in old-fashioned clothes standing by the chips aisle. I looked down for a second to adjust my till, and when I looked back, she was gone. I checked the security footage, and you could see her appear for a moment and then disappear, almost like she'd never been there. One night as a hotel receptionist, I heard the elevator ding and doors open, but no one came out. I was alone in the lobby, and there was no one on that floor according to the guest records. The elevator stayed open for several minutes before closing again. It gave me such a chill, especially since I'd heard stories about strange things happening with that elevator before. As a night shift security officer, I was patrolling a construction site when I heard the sound of children laughing. It was 3 a.m., and the area was locked down. The laughter echoed across the empty site and slowly faded out. 
I was completely alone, and the place had no history of children ever being on site. I never figured out where it came from. While working late at a nursing home, I heard someone humming in the hallway. It sounded like an older woman's voice, singing a lullaby. I checked the rooms and everyone was asleep. As I walked down the hallway, the humming stopped, only to start again once I'd left. Other staff later told me they'd heard it too. I used to work night shifts at a historical hotel. One night, I heard a piano playing in the ballroom, but the room was empty and dark when I checked. It was a tune I didn't recognize, slow and haunting. I found out later that several employees had heard the same melody over the years, always in the middle of the night. While working as a janitor in a high school, I heard lockers slamming shut one night. I went to check, but everything was still. As I turned to leave, I saw one locker door open by itself, slowly creaking. I left right after that and made sure I never worked nights there again. As an ER doctor on the night shift, I had a patient who passed away in one of the trauma rooms. Later that night, I was cleaning up and heard someone breathing heavily in the corner. I looked, but the room was empty. The lights flickered, and a chill ran through me. I still get goosebumps thinking about it. I was a security guard at an old office building, and one night, I heard someone typing on a computer in an empty room. When I entered, the typing stopped, but the computer was on, even though I'd turned it off hours earlier. The place was notorious for ghost stories, but that was the first time I experienced it myself. During my night shift at a nursing home, I noticed a resident's door kept creaking open on its own. I would close it, and minutes later, it would slowly creak open again. This happened several times that night. The resident in that room told me later, he just wants to say goodbye. She passed away the next night. One night at the hospital, I saw a man in a hospital gown walking down the hallway toward the exit. I called out to him, thinking he was a patient, but he didn't respond. When I got closer, he disappeared right in front of me. I found out the next day that a patient in that hallway had passed away that evening. I was working the night shift in a retirement home and noticed a shadow pass by the hallway several times, even though no one was awake. It was just a faint, shadowy figure gliding past. It felt like someone was keeping an eye on the residents. And even though I was used to it by then, it always unnerved me. While working the overnight shift in a diner, I noticed that a booth in the corner always seemed to be occupied by a shadowy figure, just sitting there silently. Every time I looked directly at it, the shadow would disappear. It became a regular sight on my shifts and even my coworkers noticed it, but no one ever dared sit there. As a night shift nurse, I often passed an empty room that felt unusually cold. One night, I heard a soft voice say, help me. I rushed in, but no one was there. Later, I learned a patient had passed away in that room under tragic circumstances. The experience made me feel like maybe they weren't at peace. I worked nights in a small, rural hospital, and once during a quiet shift, I saw a little girl in a white dress standing in the hallway. She looked at me and vanished around the corner. When I ran to check, no one was there. I was told later that staff occasionally saw a young girl roaming the halls, but she never interacted with anyone. During a graveyard shift as a hospital tech, I heard a woman's voice calling my name from an empty room. I looked in, but no one was there. The voice sounded familiar, almost like one of my family members. I couldn't shake the feeling that someone was trying to reach out to me. I was a janitor in an office building, and one night, I heard the sound of heels clicking on the tile floor, as if someone was walking toward me. But I was the only one there, and no one was anywhere near that floor. The clicking continued off and on throughout the night, and I couldn't explain it. I used to work the night shift at a 24-hour gas station. One night, the bathroom door kept opening and closing on its own. I thought it was a draft, but when I checked, there was no way air could have moved it. The door handle even twisted by itself once, like someone was trying to come out. I locked it and didn't go near it the rest of the shift. While working in a morgue, I was preparing to transport a body when I heard a loud knock coming from inside the fridge. I stopped, thinking someone was playing a prank, but I was alone. The knocking stopped after a few minutes, but I was so shaken I had to step outside to calm down. At a night shift at a hotel, I heard laughter echoing down an empty hallway. I checked each room, but everyone was asleep and no one was in the hallway. The laughter continued for a few minutes, faint and eerie. Other staff later told me the hotel was known for ghostly visitors at night. I was doing a patrol in a factory and I heard a voice whispering my name from somewhere above. There was no one else in the building, and it echoed like it was coming from the ceiling. I checked every floor, but no one was there. It was like something was following me that night.
During a night shift at a hospital, I saw a shadowy figure enter an empty patient room. I went to check, but no one was there. As I left, the lights in the room flickered and I heard a soft sigh. It was such a surreal experience, and I can still picture the figure standing there. I was working night security in a museum when I noticed one of the mannequins in an exhibit seemed to move slightly. I assumed it was a trick of the light, but when I walked by later, it had turned to face me. I checked the cameras, and they showed the mannequin shifting position on its own. I haven't worked there since. At a 24-hour grocery store, I heard shelves creaking and boxes falling in the middle of the night. I went to check and saw that items were scattered, almost like someone had thrown them. It happened a few more times, and each time I felt like I was being watched even though the store was empty. As a night nurse, I often felt someone watching me from the end of a long, dark hallway. One night, I saw a shadow that looked like a person standing there. When I blinked, it was gone. Several coworkers had seen it too, but no one liked talking about it. It made night shifts feel much longer. I worked at a theater on night duty, and while cleaning, I heard applause echoing from an empty auditorium. I went to check, and it was completely silent. The applause started up again as I was leaving, and I swear it sounded like a full audience. I was the only one in the entire building. At an old warehouse job, I was doing rounds when I heard heavy breathing behind me. I spun around, but there was no one there. The breathing grew louder and stopped suddenly like someone was inches away. It was my last shift there, and I couldn't shake the feeling of being followed. I used to work in an old courthouse, and during night shifts I'd hear footsteps above me, even though the building was empty. It sounded like someone was pacing back and forth. When I asked a coworker, they told me the building was rumored to be haunted by an old judge who still oversees the place. While working as a night janitor at an old high school, I heard what sounded like a basketball bouncing in the gym. When I went in, the sound stopped and there was no ball in sight. As I left, I heard it start up again, but every time I went to check, the gym was empty. It freaked me out every time. 